In addition to administering and working with your Linux workstation, you're also going to at some point want to install software on your systems. We're also going to cover the installation of standard software from source code, and we'll talk about the different package management capabilities that are supplied by both the Red Hat operating system as well as the Debian operating system. Now, we haven't really talked a lot about Debian throughout our movies, and the reasons for that is simple. Red Hat commands are, for all intents and purposes, the same as Debian commands. The only major difference between Red Hat and Debian from a functionality and operating system level is their package management and how they deal with the installation and removal of software. So moving right into it, when we're installing software from source code, you basically have to get the software compiled, and once we have it compiled, we can actually perform the installation process. Now generally, when you download source code, you're going to download it in a tarball or a compressed archive. The reason for this is that source code generally comes with dozens, if not several dozen, files that are all used together to create the installation process. The three major things that we're going to have here are our configure scripts, our make files, and our installation scripts. And those together actually make up the source code itself. Now the configure script itself is basically going to check for dependencies and requirements and basically make sure your system is where it needs to be in order to receive the software. Now makefile is actually going to go through and set up everything and get the operating system prepared and the source files compared which will be followed by a make and make install command. And basically, make is going to compile everything together for us and prepare the source files, make them executable binaries, if you will. And the make install is where it's actually going to do the installation and prepare the source files to move to the appropriate locations on the file system. So that process is actually pretty simple. So when we install the software from source code, we're also going to rely on some form of shared library. Now a quick definition of a shared library is a folder or location in which resources are shared between software components. So two different software components might use the same file or reference the same settings and those shared libraries will be located in a couple of different places. It's always going to be in a lib directory which you can have a primary lib directory in the root of the file system. You can also have user specific and X Windows specific libraries as well. So let's take a quick look at some installation examples. So we'll go ahead and hop into our Red Hat operating system. Now if we take a look in our directory, I've actually downloaded a SSH program, which is basically just a secure shell access client. So we're going to go ahead and navigate into that directory. And if we do a quick list out, these are all the files that are used to perform all the functions necessary to install the software. So the first thing we're going to do is perform our configuration. This is going to check our system, make sure everything's in place. If there's any necessary components that must be installed, most commonly you're going to get errors here if you don't have your compiler set correctly or if you don't have one installed. So basically it's created our make file for us and that basically says, okay, we have customized the source of this particular software piece so that it will work properly on your system. So we're going to go ahead and compile our binaries by using the make command. 